What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be having some fun on the rank ladder today. We are using an Evolution team for Series 14. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We have Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet coming out in just a couple of weeks. So if you guys want to catch content from me, I got guides, playthroughs, and online rank battles coming. Like I said, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Viking BGC. Thank you so much for making this Evolution team. Cannot wait to use it. Cannot wait to try to get some wins with it. I will be leaving your socials down in the description below if anybody wants to pokey pace and all that good stuff. But that out the way, let's get started here in that top left corner. Starting off with our first restricted Pokemon, it is going to be Groudon. Groudon is just super strong in this game. It's really good in Dynamax and non-Dynamax form. It's got Drought. It's got the weakness policy as item. Then it's Rocket Prince Place Blades, Rock Slide, Fire Punch, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be our second restricted Pokemon, and it is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex. And I really like Ice Rider Calyrex, considering we have Espeon with Focus Hatch and Trick Room, so they can pair up really well and kind of get a combo going. Calyrex has the Asmund ability, alongside with the White Herb as its item, and then it has Glacial Lance, High Horsepower, Seed Bomb, and Protect for its four moves. Middle left is going to be our first evolution. It is going to be Flareon over here. It's got Flash Fire and the Life Orb, and then it has Flare Blitz, Super Power, Quick Attack for first turn priority, and then it has Tackle. Which I do not know why it has Tackle. I don't know if they want to put Protect on it, but Tackle just seems like it gets no value here. But maybe it's... Uh, the only reason I could think like Tackle could be on here is for a stronger Max Strike move. That could be the only reason I could think of it. But other than that, I don't think we're going to be using Tackle. But fourth Pokemon is going to be Glaceon over here. And I absolutely love Glaceon's design. One of the cooler evolutions in my opinion. It's got Snow Cloak as its ability with the Roat Berry. And then it's got Freeze Dry, Ice Shard, the Proc Weakness Policy on the ground on. And then it's got Yawn and Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Vaporeon. I love Vaporeon all around and it is really, really bulky with a high HP stat. It's got Water Absorb as its ability, Leftovers as its item, and then it's got Scald, Yawn, Baby Doll Eyes, and Protect for its four moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Calyrex's best friend. It is going to be Espeon over here with Magic Bounce and that Focus Ash. It's got a cool move set of Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Trick Room, and Protect. But the reason I say it's Calyrex's best friend, again, it has Trick Room and the Focus Ash, so it's going to be tough to kill it without setting up Trick Room. Calyrex is just going to Protect. We can pop a Trick Room and kind of go from there. Guys, if you want to run the scene for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Series 14 Evolution team. So guys, it's been like 30 minutes since I can find a battle, so I hopped on the casual ladder and it still took me a little bit to find a battle, but hey, we finally found one and we're rocking out up against a Series 13 team with four restricted Pokemon. So we're looking to grab ourselves a win here and get rolling out strong here in battle number one. But he has Dialga, Yveltal, Maishal, and then he's also rocking out with, uh, what is that Pokemon? Faramosa, Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Kyogre. How should I go into this one? I could go in with maybe like Glaceon. Go Glaceon and maybe Groudon here. Try to proc weakness policy and roll off from there. Or I can go in with. Don't we have inner focus? I'm kind of scared of the fake out. Through my shell. Oh, you have magic bounce, which isn't too bad. Hmm. Get the focus sash. Bum bum bum. Oh, what do I want to do with this? I feel like Groudon. We can go Groudon, maybe Glaceon here. Glaceon is protect too, right? Could be pretty good. It does. It does have Yolan. I kind of like that. We're going to go Glaceon, Groudon. We're going to bring Calyrex in the back end. And then I think I'm just going to throw in. uh. Vaporeon, or do I go in with a, more of a Pokemon like Vaporeon? I kind of like Vaporeon here. Vaporeon's not too shabby, especially with Yawns with Water Absorb. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. We'll lock it in. We'll lock it down. This one's going to be tough, yo. Evolutions are so much fun to use, but they're definitely tough to get some wins with on the uh, on the uh, rank or casual ladder. Because everyone is just using Restricted and Legendary Pokemon. And that's why I feel like uh, this game has kind of like dwindled down and not a lot of people are playing it in the last couple of weeks. So it's while it comes out. But it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I'm still bringing you guys content. Hopefully, you guys are still enjoying. But, yo, just wait for Scarlet and Violet. We're going to have tons of cool videos for you guys. Play through guides, rank battles, all that good stuff. So, hopefully, you guys are excited for that. We're going to go Faramosa alongside with Calyrex here. Um, I feel like we just straight up Dynamax. I think we Dynamax. And do we go for a weakness policy proc? Faramosa is kind of scaring me a little bit. The Pokemon's pretty good all around. I could weakness policy proc go for the special defense boost. I kind of roll off from there. I'm kind of thinking. Kind of about it. Kind of about it. Yeah, let's just quake here. I mean, I could change up weather. 
And I can just take it out next turn. I'm I'm all about just proccoling with this policy here. And do, and uh hitting up on that Calyrex. Cause if it is focus ash, we'll just ice shot into it next turn and take it out, and then we'll uh, use the Pokemon. Or ye or send a move with the ground onto the other slot. But yeah, I, I I'm liking this combo. This is one of the stronger combos on this team. Right here, it's, it gets into the battle instantly. You can just, just straight up Dynamax turn one and roll out pretty strong. But still, Shadow Rider Calyx, super, super OP. Kind of scaring me. We already know what's going to do. We know it's Astral Barrage and it's going to do some big damage to us. <laughs> but we proc the weakness policy with the Ice Shard. Get that plus two on the attack boost. And what's Farron Mosa going for? Farron Mosa, he's going to Icy Wind me. That's fine. So he's going to slow me down. He was proc a policy anyway. Yo, dude. We could have just straight up went for an Ice Shard into that Calyx. That would have been amazing if we would have made that call. But it's all good. Astro Barrage is going to fly here. He slows us down already. Glacian's able to eat. We're going to get a special defense boost. And we're going to roll from here. I'm cool with this turn. I don't mind this turn. I'm going to do that. Probably focus Ash. No Sash. All right. Never mind. That's cool. No Sash comes out here. Special defense is here. Um, yes, Diago, who's special attacker. Yveltal, mainly special attacker. Who else did he have on the team? Kyogre, special attacker for sure. Definitely going to be bringing him out. That's exactly who's coming out here. I think Kyogre comes out here. We could hard swap. I mean, I could try to get off a of yawn, but there's the there's the Kyogre. That's no, no good. That is no good. Um, I think what I can possibly do here. I could guard and yawn, but I think he might not Dynamax. I could hard swap out. Blah 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 blah. We do a freeze dry. Huh. Game sucks, man. I don't like this game one bit. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna yawn into him just in case he wants to Dynamax. And do I double down into him or do I go after the Faramosa? Yeah, I'd rather go after Faramosa and change up weather. Let me yawn into him just in case he Dynamaxes. Gonna coach. Is this like physical? Is this a physical attack? Don't tell me this is a physical attack, Kyogre. Or is he just doing it for the defense boost? Okay, it's it's special. Groudon eats, cool. I'm about it. Groudon's able to eat here. And oh, yo, I have a nice little big berry. Look at that. The Roat berry hurts him a little bit. Uh, that's okay. It wasn't anything crazy. Max Fire's gonna fire. We're changing up weather and should be able to do a nice chunk of damage this thing. We bring it down to Sash. Okay, so Sash comes out for that. That's where the Sash was at. I was wondering why that Calyx didn't have focus Sash. But the Sash comes out from that Pokemon. We could definitely bring out my Vaporeon from here. Good guard. Um, I could go into Calyrex here. Calyrex does have Seed Bomb. Huh. Or do I go into Vaporeon? What do I want to do here? I definitely want to guard the ground. I feel, I feel like guarding the ground. I wish we had Trick or more Calyrex. That would have been solid right now. Uh... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. I could go for yawn here. Guard yawn. I think I'm about that. I think I'm just gonna guard and yawn. I think I'm gonna guard and yawn. Save my Calyx for the back end. But yeah, it's gonna be tough to grab ourselves a win with this team. It really is. But yeah, we're gonna guard. We are going to send this lovely little yawn. We do have baby doll eyes for uh physical attackers. Which is good. And it always goes first, which is awesome. I love that move. I think it's such a strong move. But he finally ends up Dynamax. Are you, go, who are you going after? You gotta be going after Vaporeon. With a lightning. Please don't be a lightning. Please don't be a lightning. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm terrified here. He could maybe take out my Vaporeon. Maybe. Vaporeon's pretty bulky, but still. We guard here, which is pretty solid. What are you going for? Ice Wind for the KO? Ice Wind's me. How dare you? He's going for the lightning. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. They put on a bulk, so I'm hoping it can actually eat up the shot. Just slow us down. And he goes for lightning. Can you eat this up, vape? Eat it up, vape. Good work, vape. This thing's bulky, man. This thing's such a bulk. Such a bulk. So we end up doing that. We're hoping he's going into a water move into us soon enough. So we can get some HP recovery. But Yon's. Oh my god, he set the terrain. He set the terrain. He set the terrain. That did me dirty right there. That just did me dirty. That's going to be GG's. He can Icy Wind KO. He can Lightning again. He set the terrain, man. That hurts his soul. We'll go for a Rock Slide. And then I guess we'll go for a Scald. <laughs> I guess we'll go for a Scald. 
That's tough, man. That's tough. That's gonna be GG's, yo. He set the terrain. I was thinking, if we can get off that yawn here, even if he did Dynamax, we could protect next turn, kind of just waste out the Dynamax turns, have Calyrex come in here, take out the Faramosa while the Kyogre's asleep, get the attack boost, and then start teeing off onto the Kyogre. Granted, he did have another uh, Pokemon, but still. A plus one... Uh, a plus one... What is it? Plus one Calyrex going up against a Kyogre and whatever he has to offer is a big threat. Especially because we are in the drought. He's not going to do too much damage to me with a Water Spout or Origin Pulse. But yo, the terrain sets and he's going to take battle number one. That's rough. That is so rough. I hate this game. I don't like this game. Not at all. Not one bit. <laughs> not one bit. Not one bit. He's going to Icy Wind. That's going to say bye-bye to my Groudon. That's totally fine. And then Vaporeon's gonna drop out here. And we're just gonna run the battle with Calyrex. He's just gonna lightning me. We have no shot of winning this at this point, I don't think. His beast boost too. Speed's gonna go up, right? You're gonna get a nice lovely speed boost. You already have speed. You're already faster than like every single Pokemon in the game. But he does this, and there is no way we can win this battle, right? I'm trying to think. So anyway. We have Calyrex. I mean, I think we go for Glacial Lance here. Get the attack boost, or do we protect this turn? Nah, because then he just changes the weather. That's tough. Oh, no, no, no barriers. Any possible way we can win this? I mean, we have to go for Glacial Lance here. I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. I was gonna run the battle, but if I go for Glacial Lance here, I can pick up the KO. Onto the Pheromos to get that attack boost. Well, I'm thinking Kyogre's just gonna geyser here and then pulls some water spell me next turn. Maybe we could dodge an orange pulse. You never know. Drop a seed bomb. That looks like can bulk some shots. It really depends on what his third and final Pokemon is, but yeah, this is this is no no bueno. This is no good for us. This is no good for us. No good for us. Dude, if we would have had yawn, man. If we would have yawned, this thing would have been slumped. It would have been slumped. This guy, this guy's really thinking out his turn. What is he thinking for? Do you think I'm going to trick him? I wish I had trick him. If I had trick him, I would have brought out the Kyogre over the Vaporeon. Or not the Kyogre. I would have brought out, uh, are you going to speed swap me? Like trying to rub it in here? I hope I win now. Okay. <laughs> I think he thought I was trick. He thought I was trick him. That's exactly what he thought I'm doing. He thought I was trick him. And so he speed swapped. What a coward. What a bad play. What a bad play. He goes for the guys and we're able to soak. But the problem here is he's going to be able to kill us with another one. He's going to be able to kill us with another one. We are attacked. Oh, but we have its speed now. We have its speed and we have Seed Bomb. Yo, hold up. Wait a minute. If I can take out Kyogre on this turn. And then be able to take out this next Pokemon one shot. What's well, my shot with Fake Out? Oh, uh, yeah. We got to protect this turn. So I'll protect this turn. My and my shell doesn't have the focus ash. My shell does not have the focus ash. Faramosa does. So I gotta protect her. Wait a minute, yo. We have a shot at winning this. We have a shot at winning this battle. If I can take out Kyogre, I could plus two. He, he went for a speed swap thinking I was going to trick him. Hold up. Wait a minute. Seed Bomb coming in hot. Right, Seed, seed Bomb does the most damage yet. Let's go for Seed Bomb. My shell can close combat me though. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to eat up a my shell close combat, but it's gonna be close. He what? Yo, wait a wait a minute, wait a minute. Go ahead, Calyrex. Take out this Kyogre. Take out this Kyogre. No. <laughs> wait, it's going for what? Oh my god, this battle's wild. Do I do I go? F psh, psh, psh. I'm gonna go for Glacial Lance here. I gotta go for Glacial Lance here. I don't think he Y guards again. No, and I have C bomb. He Y guard. What am I doing? <laughs> I could have went for C bomb again. He really Y guarded that shot again. After I went for C bomb. This thing water spouting all day. No, he origin pulses. I'm dead, right? That hurts, man. I could have won that battle. I could have won that battle. I could have won that battle. That's a dang shame.
That first battle was absolutely wild. It came down to the wire. I thought I was going to lose. He ended up giving me speed, thinking I was going to trigger my seed bomb, then a kill. We then went into a Glacial Lance, thinking he wasn't wide guarding. He actually wide guarded, went for an Orange Bolt, and finished off the battle. But uh, that one was tough. That one was kind of funny, though. But hopping into our second battle, we're looking for our first win. He has Groudon and Kyogre with Zacian, Celestia, Umbreon, so another Evolution added onto the crew, <laughs> and then uh, Regilecki as his final Pokemon. Um, how should I play this one? I think I go Calyx and I pop a Trick Room. Calyx, Xperion, Trick Room combo. Bring Groudon in the back end. And then do we go Flareon? I go Flareon. I do really like Flareon. Especially if he's not setting rain. I can get down with it. I can get down with it. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves our first win for today's video. But yo, if we would have won that last battle, I don't even know. We could have. We could have if I would have just stuck to my guns and went for another Seed Bomb. But I just feel like Glacial Lance was the play there. He already wide guarded. We did not bite on the wide guard. And I was just like, okay, he probably thinks we were going into another seed bomb. So he's not going to wide guard. Then I went for the Glacial Lance looking for the KOs. It just didn't work out. I'm going to go into Calyrex here. I am going to go into Espeon. And I wonder what he's going to do. Do we guard here? Or do we just... I think we just normally protect. Pop the rooms full of tricks. tough this is tough but yeah oh my god look at this move pull right here you can do so much damage it should protect now i trick him all right so protect trick from coming out here let's see what he does is he gonna die maximum on these guys i can see it but then i can also see him not doing it because if i was him i would just be like yo i'm going into blades here and i'm going into like eat web or something not even E-Web, maybe just Thunderbolt. But he does end up dying in action. I wonder who he's going into. Probably going into Calyrex. Right. Wouldn't make the most sense. There's Dynamax from the lovely little Groudon. And I might save my Dynamax from my Groudon. I don't know yet. Depending on how this one plays here. We end up protecting Cali Cali. And... What are you going for? He goes for a Thunderbolt. Cool. So I have my Focus Ash. I should be chilling here. And he's going to go into a Flare into who? And then, so he doubles out of my Calyrex. I'm actually able to eat really well. This is a solid turn from us. A big time turn from us. But I guess from here, since we have Trick Room, we're kind of really high on HP. Do I just go into a Glacial Lance? And save my Dynamax? What other Pokemon does he have? Dacian, Kyogre. Huh. I think we just go into a Glacial Lance here. We really do. And then if he's Sash, we just go into a Shadow Ball on top of that. that I think I think this is just a fine turn to save our Dynamax for Rado. Or even Flareon in this instance. Like, which all is him? What are you going to go into from here? Kyogre maybe? I don't, I don't even know. Celesteel. I don't mind Celesteel coming in here. Celesteel are coming in hot. He's going to save his Reg like Glacial Lance is going to fly. Beep. Doing some solid damage. And this thing is just going to flare and take me out. Okay, that's fine. Can we actually eat that, maybe? Drought's soon is dirty. The drought's is dirty. Maybe we should have Dynamax, but again, I feel like saved my Dynamax. I just think we get a lot more value out of it. The Shadow Ball's going to fly. Can we get a special defense drop? Just so my Espeon can keep doing more damage. Give it to me. Oh, no, it's Leftovers. Dang it, man. I was going to say, another Shadow Ball should be able to take that out, but with the Leftovers right there, that's not too good. Okay, so we have options here. We could go into Flareon. I might even Dynamax Flareon. In this Trick Room? Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. Oh, we could have went for a Flash Fire swap. That would have been a sick play. We would have went for it last turn. But I feel like Dynamax and Groudon is just our best bet, right? Yeah, I'm looking for a win here. We're going to Dynamax Groudon. But I shall Dynamax Groudon here. Um, I think we saw a Focus Ash, don't we, on Espeon? Dude, yeah, we're full HP. I'm going to Dynamax him, and I'm just going to Quake into his Groudon slot. And just Shadow Ball. And just throw a little Shadow Ball action there. I'm all about it. We're hoping Groudon's eventually going to go into like my Espeon. I would love to waste out some turns like that. I would love to. Then have my Flareon in the back end. You love me some Flareon action. We're gonna. I don't think he's going to have Kyogre, right? He has Celesteel. He has Regilecki. 
Reg Lucky can be big in the back end, but we do have Groudon out here. He's gonna end up patrolling you. Who are you gonna go into from here? You going back into Reggie? He doesn't have Kyogre. He does have Kyogre. It's a shame. It's a dang shame. Drizzle's gonna poke here. Rain's gonna be setting. I was gonna drop a rock, but. It's all good. Hopefully, we get this special defense drop. We still have Trick Room out, so Groudon should be slower. I could uh, go after him next turn, but we, more importantly, we are getting a nice big special defense boost here. That could be really good, especially for if he wants to proc my policy. That could be big if he can proc my defense policy. But if I can get rid of this Kai Ogre and maybe get rid of Weather, Flareon can really get some value. So we go first, that's huge special defense boost coming out from us. Max Quaken, open up some damage. Not bad damage, I like it, I like it. I might have to double down the ground on next turn, but I can't. I can't afford a full full HP Kyogre to go for a uh, spout. It's for a Phantasm. So he's dropping special defense. He's going to go into my Espeon. But Espeon has a lovely Focus Ash. That's actually a really smart play from him. He goes to a Phantasm. I know, does that drop defense, Phantasm? Yeah, it drops defense. We're minus one on defense. We do have Focus Ash out here, which is huge. We're wasting out some turns, and that's exactly what I want to happen. I want him to go into my Espeon on one of these turns. Shadow Ball flies. Give me special defense drop. We don't get special defense drop. But from here... From here, I feel like we just drop a rock, right? Rock into the Kyogre. And we just Shadow Ball. Yeah, I'm liking that. How many turns left to trick him? I think we have one more turn left to trick him. He withdraws the ground on. That's fine. So he's going to be forced to send it back out. He's going to go and Celeste Steel. So Celeste Steel is out and about. That's really good. Rockfall's going to come in here. We're, we're hoping he's going for a water move. Just so we can proc my weakness policy and I can have it. Well, oh, that's a big time damage. Go for a water spout. Please go for a water spout. A quake probably would have KO'd, but still. I was doing this just in case. Actually works out well if he's proccing policy here. Shadow Ball is going to come out first, which is enormous. Can we get a high roll on this? Maybe get a KO? We do not. He's going to go for the... Oh, it goes for the water spout. Mwah. Mwah. Weakness policy is now proc'd. For plus one on special defense. Um, I think we have one more turn left in Trick Room. We have Flareon coming out into the battle. Oh, he has Regilecki in the back on. He has Groudon. I like it. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Give me one more turn left in Trick Room. One more turn left in Trick Room can be huge. Can be huge. Weakness policy is here. Weakness policy is here. Which is lovely. Which is just lovely. So, I'm just going to go for the... Uh, the Quake in it? Yeah, I obviously got to go for a Quake. He protects, he protects. We should still be able to pick a KO. And then I could go for Flare Blitz, which I am going to do. I'm going to go for Flare Blitz. But before that actually happens, let me see how many turns left in Trick Room. El Trick Room. How many turns? One? Yeah, one. Yo, look at these stats. We're only minus one on defense. We got the special defense boost. Um, He has Regilecki and he has Groudon in the back end. Yeah, we got to go for the Quake. So Quake, Flare Blitz. Let's run it. I could see Protects poking out from his Pokemon. But if he protects Kyogre, we still KO it, which is huge. And he's going to protect Celestial. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Flare Blitz gets blocked, and the Quake is going to fly, and we are going to get the KO. And more importantly, get a special defense boost. So we're sitting here. He has Groudon. And he has Regilect. So I don't know who he's going to bring out here. Who is he going to bring out here? We are defense home. We are minus one on defense, which kind of hurts the soul. It kind of hurts. This battle's going to be close, man. This battle's going to be close, because no Trick Room means Flareon goes last. Um, I do want to go for a Blades. Precipice Blades, if he throws that crowd on. Let's see who he throws out. It really depends if he throws out. Kind of hoping it's Regilecki at this point. It's going to be crowd on. So, since his crowd on outspeeds mine, we have to protect our, uh, we have to protect our fire on. Because if he lands a Blade on it, we're dead. We're dead all day. So, I have to go for a Blades. This is tough, man. I don't... Dude, this game stinks, man. <laughs> I gotta go for Blades here. And I gotta go for... I don't have Protect. I don't have Protect. Why does this thing have Tackle? I need Protect. Why does it have Tackle? <laughs> I guess we'll go for a Flare Blitz at this point. That hurts. Maybe it's a Speed type with the Groudon. He goes for another Protect with Celestia. He goes for Blades. I don't know why he protected Celestia. That's gonna take out Flareon all day. Why don't I have Protect, yo? This could have been, this could have been GG easy. 
This could have been game over. And of course, his Groudon dodge. Oh, ah, man. This sucks, man. We could have just won that battle right there, too. If we would have landed that, I think we would have won, too. If we would have landed that Blades on Groudon, we would have won. Let's, let, me, let me put this in perspective. We take out Groudon with Blades. Celestial cannot do a lot of damage to my Groudon. And then he has Regilecki, who, if I had to guess, has only electric moves. Has only electric moves. Oh, man, that hurts. That hurts. So no protect and that Blades miss. That's rough. That is rough. But we're starting off 0-2. Not bad battles. Just lost to RNG that battle. But uh, we're hopping into our third, and I'm guaranteeing you guys will win there. Final battle coming at you guys. We are 0-2. Should definitely be 1-1, one one, but hey, it is what it is. We're going up against a really cool off-meta team with Gardevoir, Gothitelle, Garchomp, and Didi for support. Gyarados, and then last but not least, he is rolling out with the Talon Flame. I think this is a Trick Room time? Is it Trick Room time? It seems like Trick Room time. Can Calyrex and Espeon could really win us this battle, right? I'm going to go in with them too. I'm going to bring Groudon. And last but not least, Vaporeon. Let's get it. Let's get it, Vaporeon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But, dude, I'm so upset at that last battle. I totally forgot that this Flareon has Tackle. Like, why? Why does it not have Protect? Why does it not have Protect? Hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. We were missing the Blades anyway, so RNG did us dirty. RNG definitely did a sturdy there, because I'm telling you, with that Regilecki, only had electric moves. He didn't want to bring it out. He didn't want to do anything when the Groudon was on. Celestial is not doing a lot of damage. So I would have taken out the Groudon there, went for a Fire Punch, taken out Celestial, because Celestial isn't really doing anything crazy onto my uh, Groudon. And then Regilecki would have just kept going for Thunderbolts and missing them. <laughs> but hey, 0 oh 2, like I said, we're going to win ourselves a battle here in battle number 3. This guy is five seconds left to pick. Okay, he got in. If I had to guess, maybe Talonflame's going to be the lead. Maybe even indeed my soul support Pokemon. But we're looking to do it. We're looking to grab ourselves a win here. I hate going 0-2 when I know I should have a win. When I know I should have a win. But dude, I'm super excited for Scarlet and Violet. Because I, I love that. I love Dynamax. I thought it was actually a really good gimmick. But I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for no more Dynamax. Even though, I again, I love the gimmick. I really did like the gimmick. He goes into... Uh, Gyarados and Gothel. Is that Intimidate or Moxie? I'm kind of hoping it's Moxie. I do not want to be Intimidated. We have Unnerved, so no berries allowed. It is Intimidate. How dare you? How dare you Intimidate me? Uh, do I Hard Swap here? I could Hard Swap. I mean, Trick Room's got to come out here. Oh, no, I forgot. We had we have the Herb. We have the Herb. That's lovely. So, yeah, this is just... What do I just Dynamax? I could go for Glacial Lance here. I'm just going to Protect. I do have Shadow Ball, which is going to be lovely. I do indeed have Shadow Ball. I'm just going to protect Trick Room, because he could fake out my uh, Cali Cali. Cali Cali Rex. Might even Dynamax to Gary to Gyarados. Bro, Gyarados is so sick. Gyarados? Gyarados' design never gets old. It's been here since Gen 1, and it is still one of the coolest Pokemon to ever exist. Like, Gen 1 just... I don't know if it's a nostalgic feeling, but they have some bangers. Even though, obviously, every other gen has bangers. Gen 1 with the nostalgic feel on top of that has some bangers, man. But again, every single gen has bangers. Like, Titar, banger from Gen 2. Gen 3 has tons of banger poke. They got Breathing. All the starters are incredible from Gen 3. Minetric, I think, is really cool. They should have Flygon, Salamence, like, a lot of bangers. We end up protecting here. I'm going to go over the other gens in just a second, but I want to see what they're going to do. Fake out does not come out here. He's going to end up guys and go into my Cal. Into my Cal, please. Espeon. Oh, yo, leave me alone. Oh, no. Gothitelle, what are you doing here? Do not hit my Espeon. That's all I ask for. Do not hit my Espeon. You're going to taunt me. I have magic balance. Okay, you're taunting him. Cool. I get off trick. Okay, so solid turn. Solid, solid turn. Um. Huh. What do I do from here? Definitely Dynamax you. I could change up weather. So I'm going to do with Hailstorm. I'm going to Hailstorm here. And I'm just going to Shadow Ball into... Into this thing. Actually, I'm going to double down into this just in case we don't pick up the KO. But yeah. Okay, on the Gen 4. You guys know Gen 4 has some awesome Pokemon. You got all the starters. You got Garchomp. You got Luxray in there. You got Floatzel, who's cool. 
a lot of bangers. A lot of bangers. Gen 5, extra drills all up top there. So I feel like all starters are always bangers, but you got extra drill. What other Pokemon you have? You have Gigalith. I think Gigalith is really cool. I really do like Farrakhan. There's a lot of bangers in that one too. Gen 6, X and Y. X and Y. Great Ninja. One of the one of the coolest starters of all time. He goes to a Guardio. <laughs> this is an awesome turn for us. This is an awesome turn for us. We're Hailstorm and we're Shadow Balling into the slot. It's a solid turn for us. So he goes for the guard. I'm all about it. And good thing we're Shadow Balling into that. Nice little double down from Jeans there. But we're going to take him out here. He's going to have to go into his next Pokemon. But he's going to tickle me? Bro, don't tickle me. Don't do me like that. Espeon, he couldn't have went first. Attack's going to drop. Defense is going to drop. Rich Soul. But on to Gen 6. Gen 6. Ta I think Talon Flames in that. Toxapec. No, Toxapec is Sun and Moon? Yeah, Toxapec is Sun and Moon. I believe. I believe Toxapec is Sun and Moon. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also have, uh, what is that? The Pyro? I think Pyro is really cool from Sun and Moon. Where's that Gen 6? That might be Gen 6. I'm getting them Gens confused. I didn't play. I played the game, but I didn't, like, grind the games. But from here, I could go into Vaporeon. We're going to Vaporeon here. I could Yawn. I could Baby Doll Eyes. I mean, Trick Room's out. I could go into Ground. No, we're going to go into Vaporeon here. Vaporeon. Just so water doesn't affect this too much, and I can change up weather after it goes for another geyser. Oh, cool. It goes into Talonflame. We love it. So instead of Baby... I could Baby Doll Eyes. I think just a straight Skull is going to be play. Hailstorm into you. Nice little Scaldy Skull. Right into the bird and we'll go up in there. Well then Gen 8. I feel like Gen 8 had some really cool Pokemon. I thought the starters were decent. I think the Raladon is one of the coolest Pokemon out there. The Raladon is super cool. Grab Block is dope. Sent the Scorch is awesome. Who else did I have on my main team? I'm trying to think of what my main team was. Oh, Corviknight's amazing. Corviknight was on my main team. I think Dreadnought is really cool as well. I think every single gen has their has their own bangers. But yo, Gen Gen 9's gonna have some dope boots. Their starters look amazing already. I cannot wait for them. I cannot wait. We drop a hailstorm into you. And I'm gonna go for a scaldy scald here. How much damage I can do? I'm surprised that this town flame sets. Oh no, it brave bird because he had first and priority. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, why is this town flame so slow? He ends up going for the geyser. He sets the weather. Which is really fine. My skull is just gonna do more damage. His Dynamax is over? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Right? One geyser. Actually two geysers and a or was it three geysers? What do you use? I know he used two geysers. I have one more turn. I think he has one more turn. No, he doesn't. What's the other move? Oh he guard it. He guard it. Okay. I'm all about this. I'm all about this. But yeah, I might just Hailstorm into him again. I mean, I'm minus one on attack, aren't I? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this to him again, and then I'm just going to Scald. Didn't Vaporeon go first last turn? You slower, Vaporeon. That would be really nice. 86. No, you are slower. Run first. Uh, I'm not gonna go for a Geyser or uh. I'm not gonna go for. I'm not gonna change up the weather. Then I'll change up with my. I might grab on later, but from here, I'm just gonna go for, I guess, an overgrowth. I saw overgrowth. So I'm gonna double down into this uh, Gardevoir slot, the Quake. So I'll Quake, and then I'll just Scald. <coughs> quake and Scald. Up now here, we sh should be able to finish off the Gardevoir. But I really didn't wanna, I really didn't wanna change up weather, cause I want this boost from the, uh, the rain. Rain boost just too good. Giving a 1. Point, is it 1.3? I think it's a 1.3 times multiplier with weather boost. Which is pretty that's a nice little chunk. The base 90 moves go to base 120. I like that boost. All day. All day. Waterfall's gonna fly. That's totally fine. Calyrex is still able to soak. We have that special defense boost. And we are thriving out here in battle number three. Playing really well. Got the got the evolutions out here. And I'm glad I got to showcase the evolutions. Considering I had no choice, I had to bring at least two in every single battle. And you know, this is his last Pokemon. I didn't even realize that. I didn't even realize that. I'm gonna yawn it, and I'm just gonna Glacial Lance. But I think our opponent cancels, right? Are you done? You done getting whooped? He's gonna protect. He's gonna waste out the Trick Room. I guess you could say that's smart. I could still Baby Doll Eyes him. I could, but I kind of I, I want I want my ground out here. I don't care if Calyx goes down here. 
I do not care. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just have him proc my weakness policy. And we'll yawn him. And then we'll baby dollize him. We're getting a free weakness policy proc here. All right, he's gotta be going for waterfall. Drought's gonna come out here. It's gonna neglect a lot of the damage. Weakness policy's gonna proc. It's gonna be GG's. It's gonna be game, set, match. I know he goes for an EQ. EQ action. Which my Pokemon soak. But Vaporeon is like a low key bulky Pokemon that you wouldn't think because it's so small, but it is so bulky all around. It's just, uh, it's just. But we go into that. We have leftovers. Leftovers is definitely the best item for Vaporeon because how much HP it gets back? That's a little 14 chunk every turn. It's huge. Go for Rock Slide and I think we just baby dies it. I think we just baby dies it. I can't believe this Pokemon stayed in the earth this long. There it is. There's the cancel. We go one and two. For today's video with this EV Lucian team. Not bad for today's video. Ended up going one and two, which I really like. I don't really mind. Considering we could have grabbed ourselves another win in battle number two if RNG was on our side. But I absolutely love using the EV Lucian team. Such a fun off meta team to use in the series 14 ladder. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know all my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend spots every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.